at this second intermission, and we are familiar with this young lady as we saw you last year. This is Abby Schivelbein, and she is one of the, the team managers again this year. And so, Abby, thank you for joining us, first of all. Yeah, of course. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and um, is this your second year? Yes, this is my second year managing. And first of all, I think uh, we'd all like to get a, an update on your brother, Nate Schivelbein, who was a key member of the team's uh, success last season. Uh, what's Nate up to these days? So he just had to get chest surgery in October. So he's been recovering from that. He's doing really well, though. And he, he took a lot of time to recover. So this is his third month since his surgery or his operation since he had to get it on his chest he had to get two metal bars put in to push out his concave chest so his life's been pretty hectic for wow um and and that would certainly be a, a terribly invasive procedure uh, so i can imagine there'd be a lot of recovery time needed for that so uh give nate our best and um, we hope uh, he gets back soon. Is when he recovers, is he planning to play any college hockey? He was thinking about it, but he doesn't really have a plan yet. He... Okay. Now, uh, yourself, or uh, what class are you this year? I'm a sophomore at Beaver Creek High School. Are you going to uh, continue on as a team manager uh, the next two years? I was thinking about it, but I was debating on if I wanted to go. If I wanted to go far in college, I wanted to focus more on school, so I might not stay. Well, uh, we support whatever you do. Hope we, you can come back, but if you need to uh, concentrate on your studies, we certainly uh, understand that. What uh, would you like to study in uh, college? Do you know? I was thinking psychology or maybe photography. I don't know. I don't have a set plan yet. But. Um, what do you think? Uh, uh, do you, can you practice some psychology on the, on the players out there? I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I understand uh, from um, uh, your, uh, your uh, cohort, uh, uh, Al Allison, that uh, the fellows sometimes can uh, cause a little uh, uh, goofing off going on. Oh, yeah. They definitely, they definitely teach you how to take a joke. <laughs> and um, um, are you guys uh, from Beaver Creek originally? So we actually moved to Beaver Creek from Toledo, Ohio. Um, about six years back now. So, what uh, do you uh, what did you think of Toledo? Do you miss it, or what was that like? I mean, I definitely missed it. Nathan probably missed it more than me. He really badly wanted to move back, but yeah, it was it was fun. I liked it. There. Now I've never been up there. How, how do you, how was Toledo compared to Dayton? Is it kind of same type of city? Honestly, there's not that much of a difference. It's just my family still lives up there majority of my extended family members live up there so it's like home to me is the weather worse up there in the winter time usually yeah the roads are fairly bad <laughs> you guys are probably used to this the snow you don't th you don't think anything of it oh no not really <laughs> especially being in a hockey rink all the time <laughs> now um, have you uh, played any sports during your school years I used to play soccer and volleyball but I haven't been playing the past couple years now are you go, ever going to in college, do you know? or? I was thinking about starting soccer back up, but I don't think I'll continue on in college. I was just thinking rec soccer just for fun. What position do you like to play in soccer? I always played defense, like left defense. My coach always always used to say I was really good. <laughs> so, uh, Are you uh, a physical player or a finesse player? Ooh, I was definitely more of a physical player. I always wanted to play hockey, too, growing up. So. <laughs> I was... Why didn't you? My parents, my parents were really scared that I was going to get hurt, so they didn't really let me, and I guess they never gave me an opportunity to. Well, that's understandable, although I tell you what, there's, there's like three or four young ladies out here today. Oh, yep. Michaela Smith is really good. She's been doing really good today. And uh, Troy's, uh, they've got two or three young ladies out there. So uh, you're starting to see a little more of the young ladies playing hockey. So. Um, uh, what, um, as far as uh, uh, your, your schooling uh, in college, do you have any idea where you'd like to go? So if I want to stay in state, I was thinking either University of Cincinnati or Ohio State University, but I'm not sure. 
Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know if there's any uh, distinction about the, the the psychology programs or anything like that for either one. I don't know. Is there any notoriety for either one of those? I've been trying to research that more the past couple of weeks, but I haven't found very much on it. So it's kind of kind of iffy. Have you visited the the campuses for both of those? I was planning on doing that next year, my junior year. Okay. Um, uh, so. Uh, do you have uh, any favorite subjects in high school this this year? I really I love biology and I think I'm really good at biology that and probably world history are two of my favorite classes. Oh that's great. Um, so biology uh, can you tie that into psychology with you know biochemistry and all everything like that? I would think so. I mean, I, yeah, I would believe so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Well, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, certainly an interesting uh, subject. Uh, now, world history. What's your favorite uh, time period of world history to try to study? Hmm, that's a good question. Probably Reconstruction after the Civil War was really interesting for me to look at. I enjoyed reading about it. Yeah, that whole period. Uh, I think mine. Uh, it's just while well, we're talking world history, we're basically talking American history now. But uh, I, I, my in American history probably is the Depression era. That whole 1930s was a fascinating time uh, in world history and American history also. But um, do you have uh, anything you'd like to mention to um, the the viewers, the 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 supporters of uh, Beaver Creek hockey, the parents and everything? Do you have anything you'd like to? mention to them? Honestly, I would just like to give a big thank you, especially to all the parents and to all the players. They've all been super kind to, and they have all welcomed me with open arms last season and continue to do so this season. Obviously, I have fun. I still stuck around, but it's been a fun experience. I really enjoyed it. What, um, what are your, all of your duties as a team manager? I guess I'm not sure what all you guys do. So usually we just, we take stats during the game, and then last year we would always fill up water bottles, make sure they have everything. We went to practices usually for safety, just to get like an AED kit, just in case. But that's mainly, that's our main duties. Of course we try and do extra, just to be courteous, but that's all we're usually here for. Well, that's great. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we, uh, we really appreciate you uh, joining us uh, today, Abby, Abby Shivelbein, uh, sophomore team manager. Uh, we appreciate you joining us, and we look forward to uh, visiting with you uh, guys uh, again, maybe earlier this or later this season. So thanks for joining us, Abby. <laughs> and hello to your, your teammate over there, Allison. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Abby. <laughs> so...